in his mid-twenties, but he'd already laid the foundations of a new branch of mathematics called calculus. And he was conducting a series of experiments that led him to conclude that color was an aspect of light. Newton wanted to find out which of the things we see are properties of light and which are caused by our nerves. Was color hiding inside the light or was it in our eyes? With a burning desire to know, he took a needle called a bodkin and... Newton carefully noted that if he conducted the experiment in a room filled with light, even with his eyes shut, some light would pass through his eyelids and he would see a great broad bluish circle. May not sound like much of a result considering the pain, but it was with simple homemade experiments such as this one that Isaac Newton became the first person to explain rainbows and how white light hides a whole palette of colors inside itself. Most people thought of the events Newton studied as being just the way things were. The way an apple falls, the way a ray of light shines through a window. Newton's greatness stemmed from his questioning of the why and how of ordinary things. Newton asked, what was light made of? If you could break light apart into its tiniest components, what would you see? Newton noticed that light moved in straight lines. How else to explain the edges of shadows? Or the straightness of the inspiring rays of sunlight that poke through a cloud? Or the darkness that resulted from a total solar eclipse? From these observations, Newton reasoned that light must consist of a stream of particles, or corpuscles as he called them, that a ray of light was like a stream of bullets striking the retina of the eye. 